What is up guys? This video is going to be a little different because I'm trying to make some videos in English so that the other audience, other part of the audience which does not understand Hindi can also like enjoy it and get some information from it. So today we are going to talk about what I learned working for one year as a software developer in Tokyo, Japan in a multinational company you can say or maybe the largest retailer in some sense but we won't tell you the name because we just want to keep it more on the technology side of the things and more on the generic side of the things so that you don't just magnet up to a company name and focus more on what I have to share with you like what I learned what I thought before joining this job and what changed in my like coding sense as well and in my development sense as well and in many other things so what did I actually learn in those like 40 hours every week working I think more than that like you, if you include overtime it would be more than that what did I learn actually coding thousands of lines do managing dozens of projects doing four rounds of bonus evaluation which I think in all of them I passed with more flying colors I think I didn't get the highest bonus in the company, but it was around that top 10% bonus of the company. And as a disclaimer, everything would be different for you as well because every person is different. So what I learned might be new for you or might be something that you have already learned in somewhere else in your experience in internship or some other job. So it's totally what I learned, what I saw, what I thought before the job and what mindset did it get changed after like doing one year five months basically like one year six months is going to get over so this video is around five months late so you can imagine how much work pressure it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up so you can imagine how many extra things would i have learned in those four or five months so let's get down to point number one so before that if you like these kind of videos what are your comments about this video what language did you prefer to watch videos and you can comment everything below you can like this video if you like it share it with your friends if you think that this information will help them as well and you can always subscribe to this channel so i, I think now we should start with the first point so the first point is i think this one is important for everyone putting self-effort like there are a lot of things going on in your team which you might think they are automatic and you have no say in them there might be discussions where you think that there's no say of yours but putting your effort into it putting effort into your job adding to it giving an outlook that you are ready to take on to any challenge in your job is i think a life lesson that i learned in this job because if you there are tons of developers in your team as well in your company as well but who gets that best piece of this project best piece of that pie that depends on who puts the most self-effort who is highly motivated I, I i don't mean that like shouting everywhere or like going into every discussion but showing some self-effort like trying to show that yeah you are also interested in this job you also want to contribute to the company that is something that can change your life in your company that can change the outlook the manager has of yours so i think that is something you should always try to keep on and that is something i would keep on the first point of the list of what i learned from this job second would be if you get around some unknown error some unknown thing you have not ever learned researching about it for one hour two hours is not the best thing to like like the best thing to go about it or the best scenario obviously you need to research on your own some things you have to use stack overflow you have to google it but after a certain point, I think it's best to ask the senior devs in the starting phase of your life or the starting phase of your job because there are things that are very company specific and that like it will only take 10 seconds for a senior dev to tell you and you might waste three hours, four hours just thinking about it, finding stack overflow questions which are very like similar to it but not getting the solution. It's important to like get onto it and ask your senior devs, ask your seniors and like solve it just away and that will also show to your senior dev that you are working on something, you are finding issues, you are facing things that only someone who's putting an effort will ever get around. So that is also an important thing I learned. Now, going on to the next point, using libraries instead of writing every algorithm by hand, like because when in the phase of these job interviews and job coding tests, we tend to like memorize all the algorithms or like learn all these algorithms by heart. And when you are in a job, you don't need to write everything. You can use libraries, you can use frameworks. Spring Boot framework has a lot of such hidden functions that a developer might be like intrigued that I should write this, I should write this searching thing, I should write this copying thing. But 
that framework has so many extra functions that might save a lot of your time and also write perfect code or like good quality code it's just an example of that framework every framework or you can use infinite number of libraries that is something i learned that i should not write every logic of that code but i should try to use as many libraries as many written standard code which i can use because it will also like increase the production quality of my code as well because you are not writing the code and you might not be the best developer in your starting years so the next point that i would like to talk about having your own custom setup of the id and all the terminals and like configuring your own pc or laptop to something that would be more efficient for you to work on not relying on the basic development setup that the company has given or the it team has given or someone else is using you should like tune it to your best preference what how do you work what is best for your mind what is best for your thinking how do you want to see it that is very important because that some extra time which you put in the starting will increase your efficiency so much that it might change your life <laughs> it's not an exaggeration it actually might change your life because you are wasting less time you are doing smart work you are, you have all the things in front of you you know what is where because you have tuned that configuration of that custom id or maybe the terminal or anything or browsers you have tuned it to your perfection your efficiency so it will help you a lot in development and it also might be helpful while showing off when you when you are sharing your screen and some new setups always intrigue the senior developers or other people in your company so that might be an extra point for you as well with that let's go to the next point that is very important for your growth which is evaluate yourself because when we are working in a college project or something else or some extra project we tend to ignore the part of evaluation improving and getting feedback which is very important when you're working in a job because you need to show first what you have done what you have improved and how you can improve and you know that how you can improve that has to be shown to your maybe senior developers tech lead or your manager and it is very important even for your own growth because once you know that okay these points i'm lacking i have to work on these you will grow as a whole it's ju not just that a company needs a very good developer who can code everything they need a whole package and if a company and these feedback sessions are allowing you to grow as a whole package i think that's the best thing that a company can provide to you so it's best to evaluate yourself every 6 months or maybe in every year what is whatever your quarterly or evaluations are and discuss with your each manager each tech lead about what you can change what you can improve what you can focus on and what were the best thing like it is also self motivating right if someone does give me an appreciation about something that i am very good at that gives me self motivation for the next term uh, next year and some extra evaluation points are always helpful so this is something that i learned so much in these all the 1.5 years that evaluating yourself is very important where are you lacking what you can improve and it's not a rocket science to improve yourself it's just every term you can improve on one thing and at the end of maybe 10 terms you would be the best coder or best person in best employee in the team or the company and you might become a ceo stop it get some help that that's too much i think <laughs> let's go to the next point <laughs> next point is if your interest is low in some work always try to maybe give it to someone else delegate it to someone else or make sure that your manager knows that you are not interested in this type of work because if you are not mentioning it to someone obviously if the interest is low work will be slow that is a tagline that you should always focus on so instead of showing that slow work you should first show that your interest is less so the manager will have in back of the mind because your interest was low so that might be the case because the work was like the results were a little slower than as expected by someone who is very motivated towards that same task so it's very important to let your manager or a tech lead know that this work or this task does not motivates you or does not have your interest lied upon so that is something that i also learned because if there's a task that i think that it's very menial or i don't like it it's not my mindset that approves of this task i always tell my manager and let him know that why i am lacking on it or why i am slow on it or even if i'm not slow why i am not giving my extra extra 10% to that task so that that is something that can help you a lot in even evaluations as well and your manager knowing you more well and if he knows you more well he will always give you the best task that he thinks are suitable for you and you he will give you the task where he thinks that you would put your 110% so that's very important so the next point is very 
I can say it's very rare to happen, but it might happen with you. And I think you should listen it with all the attention you have. So that is never break any discussion which is flowing in maybe in a chat or maybe in a meeting. Because if it stops and you have to restart that discussion, everything needs to be introduced again. People need to research it again because once that discussion falls or fails to be like concluded, the memory power of a developer is also very less. If a decision has to be taken and you have laid all the points, you have laid all the pros and cons and everything and the discussion breaks and you have to continue it in the next meeting, it's very less likely that it will continue from that break point. It will always continue from the start because developers have other work and they have other discussions to deal with it. And you are new to the company. For you, it might be the most important task or most important decision. But for other developers, they need to revisit everything again. And that might waste a lot of your time. And even the developers might think that you are saying all these things repetitively. Although it's new for them, once they hear it, they know that, yeah, it's repetitive. And that might create a very bad image for you. So this is something that you should keep in mind. Although it's not a prevalent thing that you will face every day, but if you keep it in your mind, it might help you a lot in saving time and not cutting discussion which you have started or which might impact you. If there are some discussion that are, you think are going off track, try to bring them on track, try to stop any extra deviating discussion coming from it and make sure that the decision you want or the decision you need is completed at that discussion and if something is still like if it's passed on to the next meeting make sure you write a point that everyone agrees on to take up in the next meeting and make sure that it's never going to start from the starting line so that you don't have to explain everything again and again i have faced this problem just very recently i think in the last week only so i can tell you with my experience I have learned this the hard way that you should never break a discussion whose conclusion you want really desperately. So that's something that I have learned and you should also learn. So basically these are the points that I learned in 1.5 years working as a software developer in Tokyo, in Japan, in one of the biggest company, retail company. So what do you think about them? Have you also learned these lessons in your software developer job or your college? Please comment below. And if you want to add something to someone who is watching this video, you can also still add, comment below with your opinions and what you think could be added to it. And if you like this video, please like, hit that like button. Yeah, that is for you to hit. That is for you to crush it. I have done my work. I think I have crushed it. You, your work is to like that button and crush that like button. And if you like this video, also share it with your friends. Share it with people you think are good software developers or might want to learn these things as well. And subscribe to this channel, yeah. Get Sage is here for you to get all these things passed to you, all my knowledge passed to you very frankly. And I, I don't think I have anything else to say to you. Just click on the subscribe button. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the nose, I just wanna keep moving.